Congratulations, you were able to score that high speed RAM that is gonna improve your Ryzen system's performance. But if you notice it says XMP, you got one more thing you have to do. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to enable XMP memory on your Ryzen system to actually get the full speed that you have paid for. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is actually restart and reboot the computer that's sitting in front of you in order to get to the BIOS. All of this is gonna be set in the BIOS from your manufacturer. Once you see the logo come up from the manufacturer you bought from, start spamming F2 just to make sure that you're gonna get into the BIOS as soon as possible. Now, if you hit F2 too many times, you're gonna get a message like this. All of the systems out there that I have seen store this XMP enablement functionality inside of the equivalent of their OC, their overclocking tools area. In ASUS's case here, they call it Extreme Tweaker. In the case of MSI, they call it OC, which I think makes a little bit more sense. Gigabyte, I also think, call it Tweaker. So that's the area that you're gonna go to. The second thing that you're gonna go into is going to be highly dependent upon your manufacturer and the BIOS that you are using. This right here is the BIOS for Red Star. It is an ASUS BIOS. I'm also going to show the MSI version of this from the MSI website. And down below, I will have links to the other manufacturer so that you can get the exact area that you need to get to to enable this. Now, ASUS, holy cow, guys. This is, this is beyond ridiculous. So starting off, ASUS not only has this horrible name, Extreme Tweaker, but it also has AI overclocking tuner. I don't know what that is. It sounds like it's going to give me more performance. Let's leave it at auto. And that would be wrong. That is the area that you actually go into in order to enable DOCP. And DOCP stands for Direct Overclocking Profile, which at this point, ASUS, you might as well have called all of this YPTB. WHI, which would stand for you paid for this, but we're hiding it from you. So once you enable this standard, you might not see this part pop up. In this instance, I did because this is the one profile that's stored on here. You want to match up this profile with the one that is on your box. Next, you want to make sure that the memory frequency is exactly the one that you are expecting. You can leave all of these other settings at default. So this is the ASUS way to enable this feature. Okay, so this is why I saved the MSI one for slightly separate. You see inside of the MSI BIOS, they've actually made AXMP, which is the feature that we're talking about here anyways, AMD XMP. They've put it on the top of the main interface of the BIOS right here. Click on there could be two profiles actually stored in that AXMP setting. You can choose one or two. Two typically is more aggressive than one. Alternatively, they've also come up with this memory try it feature that you can see here if you're trying to dial in, but you don't want to go too advanced either. And inside of OC as well, you will see the DRM voltage, which I will show you how to dial in in case you didn't get perfect XMP RAM. Now, what if you are running into trouble? What if you want to avoid arming that piece of RAM, that RAM kit that you've gotten, because you think it's just, just a little bit off? Well, in the ASUS world, you can come back to Extreme Tweaker and go all the way down to this setting, DRAM voltage. And you'll see it's going to set the voltage to the voltage that's going to be on the side of the box, the one that is designed to work with this XMP profile. But if you need a little bit more voltage, that can provide just a little bit more of a boost to the stability of your RAM. You can increment this by 0 0.005 volts, 1.349. And this is going to override the automatic voltage control and give just a little bit more voltage to the RAM itself. Now, if that fails again, you can go, I would say, one more increment 
higher to 1.354. I would not go any higher than that. If it's not stable with this extra amount of voltage, RMA it and get a new kit. And quite honestly, even if it does become stable here, if you really want to overclock this, uh, that might be a sign that you have not the perfect set of RAM and set of ICs, and it might be worth RMAing anyways. In the next video, I'm going to talk about what you need to shut down and turn off to help preserve your sanity in preparing to overclock manually the RAM that you have in your system. And when that video posts, you can check it out right here.